Report for Dirt Podcast, episode 175, Lamar Mother Mortis. It's never too old to be uh, <laughs> scarred for life, but you know. So Ball Rag Kang, who's been on our show, I know the movie is available on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, okay. I don't know if go. they're going the trauma route with this one, but you can you can definitely pick it up on uh, DVD and Blu-ray. We'll even put the link below. Yes. <laughs> Good uh, let's talk about the story, Lamar. <laughs> so there is a killer mm -hmm. that walks around in a dilapidated housing place and that kills people. And then there's evil doers that are trying to conjure something. Something with the devil. They yeah. use Mother Mortis, the killer, to help in this process. <laughs> Yes. And um, there was some kind of a birth. From Mother Mortis. Yeah. And stuff happens and there's people try to stop them or something. Do they, do they try <laughs> to stop them or are they just like, eh, we got to stop them because we're around? But then a little girl gets kidnapped. So then they kind of have to stop them. Yes. Well, uh, what do you rate it for story, <laughs> Lamar? <laughs> uh, I, it was all over the place. I'm going to give this a half a point. Half, half a point. point. I didn't most of the time did did not know what was going on, but I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm giving Jesus. them a half a point. They All did right. entertain me. The next category is the characters. Holy shit. So, <laughs> Mother Mortis is the main killer. Mm -hmm. Then you have some teens that are trying to save somebody else that was kidnapped by Mother Mortis. Then you have the child and then the child's mother. Mm -hmm. Then you have some people trying to make a documentary, but then one of them gets killed. And you have the villains, the group of people that the were... The group uh, of people, yeah. <laughs> the women they, trying to conjure. Well, they did have a lot of characters, I will say that. Um, yeah. I couldn't understand most of them because of the um, audio issues. Oh, that, did that bother you being an audio person, Joe? <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, oh, Joe is going to have... Oh boy. I, I'll give them a half a point because they did have an assortment of characters. I'm going to have to give this one to zero because I didn't know what anybody was doing. I, it, it, just people just showed up. Well, that was the like, fun part about it, I think. <laughs> that it was just people there. Like That person's there now. Like One guy was basically, like, well, my adventure ends here. And he just kind of walks off. You know, I was like, I was like, well, I, I feel like that guy a little bit, but I'm going to stick with this movie. <laughs> yeah, so. Yes. Uh, yeah, half point. So anyways, um, next category. Now, this one's interesting. Uh, the special effects of the movie. Let's just be real. They were goofy. Yeah. But they were funny. Yes. Because it was uh, the digital stuff added in and stuff like that. And you're just like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and that's my biggest gripe out of everything in this movie. Oh, is the fact that they were doing practical effects, and it was they had like some you know props, look like they made some stuff themselves, and I love all that. And then they decided to supplement it with uh, visual effects, and that that, that was, it was like an overlay on top of the video. Like it wasn't. I was like, you almost didn't need that. They were doing well with the regular. I thought. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so. I'm really torn on this. I, I think I'm going to give them a half a point only. I would have given this a one if they had no digital effects. I liked where they were going. Uh, greed, yes. Next uh, uh, category. <laughs> the visual style of the movie, Lamar. What, uh, what do you think about that? The first part of it, maybe this was supposed to be in the past. It was, like, very grainy. Because mm -hmm. we have found out, like, you know, because this was filmed, you know, in the UK. They have urbex. Yeah. Where it's, like, kind of like that, you know, abandoned building feel where they shoot out there. So the first part was, like, very grainy, very downgraded video. But then the rest of the movie looked completely different. I actually like the visual style. Because it's different. You know, I'm not saying like, you know, this is like, <laughs> like Hollywood cinema or whatever. Yes. What I'm saying is like, eh, I appreciate watching something different, like the graininess. And I do like their location. Like you said, we learned about the urbex. So, I mean, just for its, the, the character of the visual style, I'm giving them one point. I liked it. Half a point. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Half a point. Mm -hmm. 
Dang it. <laughs> well, the movie's uh, called Mother Mortis. So that is, of course, the, <laughs> the main uh, villain of the movie, I guess. Uh, what did we think of Mother Mortis, the character? I don't know if this is in the movie, but it's a man running around with a mask on wearing a dress. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? It is also said to be, uh, to be the brother of another character in the it's movie. Okay, yeah, you're right. Brother of another character. But is there, like, any backstory on... I think that's the biggest issue here, is that there was no backstory given to the character and ha had the ability to... It gave birth to something. I just was watching that scene, and I was like... To something, Joe. And then, so then I was like, okay, what's the, what's the backstory to that? Like, how does Mother Mortis have this ability like who is mother mortis because other than that it was like it was the typical like michael myers slow moving kind of mm -hmm. uh, you know slasher or whatever but then it had some ability to do supernatural things as well right because they were using mother mortis to bring upon something true <laughs> um. so then i was wondering like What's the explanation for all that? <laughs> Did you, Are you, you asking Lamar? me? Because I don't I, know. I am at asking all. I you, Lamar. I well, no idea. Things just happened in this movie. <laughs> um, that was the thing that got me. Like, I wanted like a little bit more backstory because I think you know, even when you talk about like Jason or Michael Myers, yeah, there's something behind the mask. Yep. motivation of some kind. Yes, yes. This yes. was like. It was literally going from one thing to another, and now the whole time you're like, "Wait, what? Yeah, what? 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 Huh? Yes. <laughs> like, wait." And then they introduce new people, and you're like, "Wait, who?" And then they're like, "What? Well, we're we're gonna conjure the thing," and and then all of a sudden, Mother Mortis has some kind of embryo. I don't even know what it was. And then I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. Well, if you were gonna rank Mother Mortis amongst other uh, movie slashers. <laughs> what do you what do you give uh, Mother Mortis on this category? Uh, well, they they did try. Yes, but we need. I would give it a zero. Like you got to have <laughs> something there. Like it was just a lot of stuff happening. You know, yeah, for me, I agree. I I really do feel like if they would have fleshed out the character with some kind of information on the backstory, or whatever, I'd been like, I'd have been on board with this. Yes. For like a low budget, like let's gather some people and make a movie a type of vibe. I've been like, yeah, this is cool. And we have seen movies like that where they have like one location and they give, you know, backstory to the killer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it was just a little bit more. Well, Lamar, we tally the score and this movie comes actually somewhere in the middle. A two out of five. We love you, Director Balrag. Give, give us a little bit more. You know, to, to be constructive about it, I would say, like, I like the visual style. And it's cool that they have access to, like, really cool locations. Yeah. And they have access to a bunch of cool people that, like, are, come out and make movies together. Like, because we saw that with um, Slutty the Clown and all the Joe Cash movies. So they have, like, a foundation but there has to be like, you know, some story uh, stuff. I was just confused. Yes. <laughs> was that wrap this up that? This, that wraps it up, Joe. Yes. Well, Mother Mortis. Peace. Deuces.